just taking some pictures of some of the plants growing in the flood and drain bio garden. We're set up with a soilless aggregate media here doing a hydroponic method more or less, although uh, this is a strictly organic setup and we're not changing our media out, we're not putting cocoa core in the beds, just using a nice blend of porous stones, biochar, um, some growth stone, some other things like that. But uh, you can see the way we're uh, growing here uh, with the shard. Got some cabbage back there. Uh, starting up with some other things, radishes, got some tomatoes, seedlings, germinated there. We have some peas over here, made a little trellis. Pretty cool thing about this bio garden is that you can put a trellis on it and use it even with your big vines. So you can canopy your plants up, up and over. Um, tomatoes like that, they get a little protection from the sun and the leaves get all the exposure. So anyway, flood and drain is really my favorite medium to work with. Um, we're growing duckweed and duckweed is, is a, a very important plant. It provides a, a high amount of protein and it's very digestible, low lignin, low fiber. Uh, makes it a really important uh, feed for chickens and and poultry and animals of all sorts. I feed it to my dog. He likes it. The little brewer's yeast added to it. Um, yeah. So, uh, so duckweed is a protein source, very easy to make, and of course we're we're producing our liquid fertilizers over there with a uh, with NutriCycler and doing 85 gallon batches. And doing some really nice, making some really nice nutrients that are going in here to feed these plants. So anyway, that's that one. And then we process those nutrients a little bit longer, and uh, we get a liquid fertilizer that is derived from organic, but has lesser organics in it than uh, than a, uh, a just a basic extract of, of biomass might. So we're making a a fertilizer tea that is uh, created through an extraction process in the NutriCycler and we're processing it to, uh, to get a, a, a certain amount of carbon out and a certain amount of ammonia converted over to nitrates and in this case maybe a little less carbon out and not so much concern about the ammonia because of course duckweed loves ammonia. Anyway, uh, that's it. We're outside here in uh, Atlanta in mid-May and uh, uh, thanks for watching.